going to start with a nice, easy question. We're going to start with a linear equation. It is out of two marks, so it's only out of two marks. It's not a stressful one. Everyone should feel nice and comfortable with this. You are welcome to post your answers in the chat. And let's see how it goes. Let's see if everyone can get these first two marks. Get these two marks in your pockets. Yeah, guys, in the bag. Can you imagine? To me, the exam, you're like, whoa, okay, I remember that. Exactly. I want you guys to like feel so confident with equations that when you see a question like this, you're like, oh my gosh, that is so easy. It's like, why are they even asking me this question? You know? <laughs> that is how we must be. Also, in other news, I found one of these flask mug situations. <laughs> And it's great, but it's, my tea is too hot now. I can't drink it. So now I'm, I don't know what to do. I have a whole mug full no of tea solution. and it's too hot. Yes, it's like burn, burn my tongue. No solution at all. I thought that would help. As you don't understand how my mug situation has escalated. <laughs> very serious okay i'm seeing some good answers please remember that when you are doing equations always write it as something nice so write it as x is equal to um because you need to show all of those different steps as we go okay all right so nolan wabo do you think you can talk me through this one yes ma'am okay what am i going to do um, we're first going to take the, the negative 2 and put it over the bracket. Good. It's going to be positive 2. Good. Okay. And then it's going to be 3x is equal to 6. Excellent. And then we divide that by the coefficient of x, which is 3. That's good. And then we'll have, therefore, x is equal to 2. Perfect. Absolutely Ooh. perfect. Well Not done. No, and the way you have explained it. Ah, oh, perfection. Okay, so when you give yourselves marks here, I want you to give yourself a mark for getting to this point over here. So for getting to 3x is equal to 6, I want you to give yourselves a mark and then one for the answer. So x is equal to 2. Okay. So at the moment, our total that we are running out of is 2 marks. That's what we are currently dealing with. So try and keep track with yourselves like on the right hand side of the page or something. Okay, ready for the next one? Let's move down. Okay, Let's so the next go. one is also out of two marks. So this one is also out of two marks. We can do this, my people. I see Sisanda. Sisanda, well done. You're focusing. Oko, I see you go. I like the focused face. Like Sisanda's face is like, I mean business. I'm maxing to the maximum. Oh, I'm nailing this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so Sana, I do see your hand. I'm just giving everyone a little bit of a time to finish, and then this question is all yours. Maybe I should take the lid off. Okay, guys, if I land up spilling tea all over myself, I give you permission to laugh, but I'll be sad. No, I can't get the little. I'm laughing thing. already, <laughs> guys. I don't know what's happening no, here. This I'm, is this is very bad. This is so much worse than cold tea. I think if I had to ever choose in a situation between too hot tea and too cold tea, I'm now going to go with too cold tea. <sighs> go back to your big mug. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now, all yours. Talk me through what to do. Ma'am, so first, I actually didn't see it's minus two. I actually saw it. I thought it was plus two. But anyway, I got time to rectify my answer. So okay. the LCD is four. So then we're going to multiply both sides by four. 
cycle. And then it would then we would say x minus three equals to minus eight. Beautiful. Then we move the minus three to the other side, so it'll become a plus three. So then it'll be x equals minus eight plus three, and then x will equal minus five. Beautiful. Oh. Yes. Wow, Sana. Well done. Nice. 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 Okay, so when you get to this point over here, we can definitely look at it as finding an LCD. We can definitely do it that way. You can also just think of it as um, if, let me just rewrite our question over here. You can also just see this as I'm dividing by four over here. So when I move it up, I would be multiplying. So then I would just have X minus three is equal to negative two times four, which will give you a negative eight. So you can, if you, if that visually makes it a bit easier to see what to do, then you can do it like that. You could also do it by finding your lowest common denominator. So having your fours on both. Um, either way, you'll get to where you're wanting to go. Okay. So this one was out of two marks. So you are going to get, yes, exactly. So we get the negative eight by having negative two times four. So give yourselves a mark for getting to the negative eight. So if you have a negative eight that's chilling on that one side, give yourselves a mark and then give yourselves one mark for your final answer here. So now your total that you're working out of is four because we get two questions from the first one and two from the second. Can I check in how we're doing so far out of four? And remember, if you're embarrassed, you're always welcome to just send it privately to either to you, Linda, or to myself. If you don't want to share how you're doing, that's totally fine. But let me know how, how these are going so far. And if you have questions, we're always open to questions. Nice. Oh, my students. Jeez, you're smashing yes. this, guys. Woo. <clears throat> wow. Well, everyone got four out of four. Is there hey. We're rocking these equations. Oh, wow. You know, I like some nasty ones as soon as people feel confident I'm like smack them down <laughs> I mean teacher Jenny guys teacher Jenny loves this okay she's this is making, my favorite <laughs> she's just making sure that in your exam you definitely will nail these chicks <laughs> if, if this is confidence mountain I like to get you right to the top of confidence mountain and then I just smack you right back down and then I build you back up confidence mountain and smack you back you down enjoy it. <laughs> guys she loves you <laughs> I do I do love you if I didn't love you I wouldn't try and trick you <laughs> you know <laughs> Okay, Unati one, this is all yours as soon as I'm just going to give people a little bit of time to work through it. And then this one is all yours. And this. Unati, that was so fast. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. Okay, Unati, we are all yours. <clears throat> Hi, ma'am. Hi. How are you, ma'am? I'm well, thank you, and yourself? I'm good, thank you, ma'am. Okay, ma'am, I'm not so confident, but I'm going to try. Okay. So, um, what I did is that um, I did the equations with exponents, if you call it that. Okay. Where you have to get your bases the same. I tried. Good, good. So we want our bases to be equal. Perfect. Okay, great. That's a good start. Ma'am, so it's going to be 3 to the power of 2x plus 1 equals to 3 to the power of 3x. Yes. Uh, nice. Okay, good. So guys, if you got to this point over here, if you were able to change that 27 into 3 to the power of 3x, give yourselves one mark. Okay, great. Okay, okay. Unati, carry on. What do I do from now? Then now you're going to cancel out the bases because they're the same. Good. So my bases are the same, so I get to ignore them. Good. So what's going to be left is 2x plus 1 equals to 3x. Beautiful. So um, you're going to take the 3 
over and then the one is going to go to the other side too. Okay. So 2x minus 3x is negative x equals to negative 1. Okay. Then you're going to divide by negative 1 on both sides. So therefore, x equals to 1. Yes. Uh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Nice job. Well, well done, done. Well done. That was great. I love how to not you one now. Um, <laughs> okay. Yes, Precious, how can I help? Afternoon, ma'am. Afternoon. Ma'am, for my uh, question, I didn't make the basic mistake. Instead, I divided by three on both sides. Okay, so that's a, I'm, I'm glad that you did that. That's a very, very normal mistake. As soon as we have exponents like that, we're not allowed to divide by three on both sides. We have to, we, our hand gets forced into making our bases the same. So as soon as you see questions like this, where you've got exponents that are chilling like that, just think I need to make sure these bases are the same as each other. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Okay. Oh, sorry. You can ignore what I've just... Uh, Tiana, yeah, how can I help? Maeve, why is it 3x? They buy the other things. Okay, so what happens is that... Let me use a different color so it's a bit clearer. Is when I have 27 to the power of x, if I want to change that 27, I can change that 27 to 3 to the power of 3. That's what my 27 is, and that's to the power of x. And then we have to think about our exponent laws. And our exponent laws tell us that when we have a power to another power, we multiply them. And so then that would become 3, 3 times x, which is 3x. So what's always ever x? Well, if there was an x here, so there would be oh. an x. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Lucia, how can I help? Um, ma'am, I want to know where, like, you got the 1x over 1, so the 1. This part over here? Yes, yes. Okay, so this 2x minus 3x, that gives me negative 1x. Yes. Okay, and then as soon as we're in a situation where we have a coefficient, when we're wanting x to be alone, we just divide by whatever that coefficient is. is. So here, negative 1 mm -hmm. is my coefficient, so I divide by that. And I divide it by it on the other side. Yes, ma'am. And that's that's yes. a, no problem. Thank you, ma'am. So you've got to add the act oh, x. Where did you forget to add the x? As in you forgot to have oh okay well let's have a look at what that would look like if you've got this so they would stop marking but let's see what would happen so if i had three to the power of two x plus one and i said that that was equal to three to the power of three then i would have two x plus one is equal to three which means two x would be equal to two and x would be equal to one right so if you did it that way then i'm sure that that's why you landed up getting to that right answer the problem is is because 3 to the power of 3 is not the same as 27 to the power of x, as soon as you lost that x, they would stop marking. So even though that answer is right, that answer is right after doing something wrong. And so they would actually, in that case, you wouldn't end up getting any of the marks, which would be quite sad. Yep. Because it's just like forgetting the x. <laughs> yeah. So what it's called in maths is it's called a complete breakdown. That's what it's, it's, I know it sounds ridiculous, but as soon as you've done something that's mathematically, like wildly, like it doesn't mean the same thing. So as soon as it's just, it doesn't mean what you've said, it's called a complete breakdown and then they stop marking. But you might have a nice teacher in grade nine, so who may have given you one mark. Okay, let's have a look at what this would be worth. So you're going to get a mark there for saying 3 to the power of 3x. And then I want you to give yourself some mark for you have 2x plus 1 is equal to 3x. And then give yourself one mark for x is equal to 1. So this question was out of 3 marks, which means our total at the moment is out of 7. And this was a tough question. So if you didn't get 3 out of 3, please don't feel bad. Yeah. 
Yeah. So Isona, it's the same thing as henna. It's it's a very common mistake. So please don't feel bad about it. But they in that case, you would get zero out of three. The thing yeah. with maths is it's not about the destination. It's all about the journey. <laughs> the journey, guys. The journey. Okay. <laughs> all right. This one's not so bad. This one, I think you'll, I think you'll find this one okay. Uh, this one is out of three marks. You do like this journey, Hannah. You just haven't had enough snacks yet. You're probably just needing a bit of a snack. As soon as you have a snack, then the journey turns around. Yep, we need some little sweets. <laughs> exactly. Let's do this, everybody. Let's do it, guys. Try this one. Maybe you might find it uh, a little bit nicer. Hannah. Yeah, I think, I think you'll enjoy this one, Hannah. Unanti Wala, I just know that's for the answer. <laughs> She's on fire. Unati, I'm just going to see if I get any other offers to, so that we can share the love a little bit, but keep your hand up there. <gasps> Yusuf, it's not worse. This one's so much nicer. I think it's because it's long and then everyone just panics. But panic actually, mode. I think it's step by step. It's like, oh, it's nice. Yeah, one step at a time, guys. Don't like look at it and be like, oh, yes. one, one step, <laughs> one step. Oh no, oh god, no! Don't, don't get, don't let maths get you upset. <laughs> Your journey ended halfway through. <laughs> Uh, yeah, these lessons go throughout the whole holiday on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I will be here with you from five till six. We will be Hi, having guys, a same jewel. Time, same place. The only difference is that please do come in your pajamas. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Precious, are you going to give me my answer here? Yes, ma'am. Okay. okay. I'm not that confident, but I know That's okay. Okay. So for the first step, uh, we're going to distribute the two into the first bracket. Excellent. I'm going to distribute okay. that two. Our answer is going to be 2x minus 2. Good. Okay. Great. Then Next part. We're going to distribute the negative sign into the second bracket. Yes. Which is our second answer is going to be um, minus 1x plus 2 equals Beautiful. 0. Great. Okay. I'm Ooh. very happy so far. So then since um, it's a minus two and a plus two, is it fine if I just ignore them? Yep, you can. Easier? I'm going to show, I'm going to write it where they're written on the other side, just so that people can see, but you can absolutely just ignore them. But I'm just going to write them over here. Okay. And then our answer is going to be one x is equal to zero. Exactly. And you can just leave it there. Nice. Well done. I don't know why you weren't confident in yourself. That was great. Be confident, girl. Yeah, that was awesome. Nice work. Okay, so this question, the only thing that we really had to think of that we needed to do that was a little bit different was we had to think, okay, we have to do this distribution. So we had to distribute that two into that bracket and we had to distribute that negative into that bracket. That was the thing that made this one a little bit different. But otherwise, it was just a normal linear equation solving for x. Yep, just long and very nice. <laughs> okay, let me try and go through some of these questions. Lucia, how can I help? Ma'am, you lost me there on the second step, the tx minus 1x. The, the step here? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so all we did was we kept our, we kept our x's on one side. So that's my oh, two x's and my oh, minus two. Yeah. The like terms. Exactly, and then we moved our numbers onto the other side. Oh, of the other side. okay, so it could be easier. Exactly. Thank you, ma'am. No problem. 
no don wabo, how can I help? Ma'am, like if we said, instead of saying negative one X, but if we said X, would it still be the same thing? If you said negative X, absolutely, it would be the same. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Um, Oko, how can I help? Hello? Okay, uh, this question was out of three marks. So I'm gonna show you how these marks would work for this one. You're gonna get one for the two X minus two, one for the negative X plus two. So that's two of your marks and then one for your answer of X equals zero. Uncle, oh, Uncle, there you are, hello. Oh, she's still here. I actually, I actually did it like this. I okay. Think two X minus two is mm -hmm. equal to zero or x minus two is equal to zero oh then okay 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 i'm actually really glad that you said that i'm gonna write up what you did that's a super super normal mistake okay mm -hmm. thank you thank you for for bringing that up guys when we see questions like this often because we've been doing quadratic equations when we see two brackets that are written like that we think okay well that means that x minus one must be equal to zero or x minus two. Oh goodness what am i writing x minus two needs to equal zero okay because we've been working in quadratics the problem is that we can only do that if these were written together so if my question looked like this then that would be the right thing to do and so when we're looking, we have to think how many terms are there? In this case, there is one term, in which case I'm allowed to split it up like that. But over here, I had two terms. I had one term over there, and then I've got this minus sign, which breaks that up into another term. So I've got one term, two terms. And because of that minus sign, it's not one term, which means I'm not allowed to do this. So we just have to use distribution. Hopefully that explains what happened there. Okay. But that's a very, very normal, very, very normal mistake. It was, I'm glad that you brought it up. Okay, cool. So this one was out of three, which means our total at the moment is out of 10. So at the moment we are looking at a mark out of 10 right now. Ooh. Guys, we're rolling. Yeah, we're rolling, guys. Imagine. Should we do another check-in? Like, where, where are we at out of 10 at the moment? Oh, yes, that would be interesting. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's make it um, so that people don't feel too pressured. You can say, if you, like, I'm above 5, or I'm above 6, or I'm above 4. Guys, well done. Yeah, guys. Nice. But remember, even if you're getting like two out of ten or even zero out of ten, that's fine. Like it's okay. It's still fine because you are learning. Yeah. Yeah. You are exactly. learning and you're participating. That's all that matters. As long as like after each question, you're able to see where you went wrong and you can sort of find yeah. your way, then that's what matters. Oh, God, that's really not bad at all. Yeah. Nice job, yeah. Nati. Yes. Oh, Tiana, take that sad face yeah, away. Okay. You are allowed to ask questions. Hey, Tiana, I hope you do understand now that you have seen and you corrected your work. Sending some love, girl. <laughs> All right, let's move on to our next one. This one is out of five marks. Ooh. We did questions like this though on Tuesday. So try and draw from that memory. Oh, my tea is still hot. <laughs> I know, it's a, I mean, like a tea saga over here. I feel like I need a reality show just about tea. <sighs> yeah, on how can we make it in a good condition for someone to drink two hours without it getting cold and without it being hot, 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 hot. 
Oh, can I have can I have that show like a Goldilocks yeah. situation of tea? <laughs> Kira, you get back in that car. Keep on going on this journey. <laughs> Amber, just don't panic. Remember, it's one step at a time. You don't have to stress. My clue for this one while you're working through this question, though, is don't forget about lowest common denominators. That's what we want to keep on thinking. Yes, you're doing well. Hug yourself. You're doing well. Tap yourself. You're doing well. And then you can continue. Breathe in. Jasmine. Guys, where's all this negative energy coming from in the chat? All these tears and the sadness. No, turn it around. We don't let these questions panic us. We take it one step at a time. Yeah. The nice thing is that you can ask your question. So give it a try. Melinda's doubling down with her tears now. <laughs> Melinda, your tears is actually happiness for me, you know? Now yeah, that's... exactly. We know okay. that your crying faces are laughing faces. Yeah, so. you're sending us some love with the positivity crying. vibes. That's you what know? I'm sending you away. <laughs> Okay, Yosef, what am I going to do? Uh, hello, ma'am. Hi. Uh, ma'am, so first you want to uh, say you want to first, okay, four, you want to write four? Okay, okay, I'm, so I'm just going to, what you're saying is right. We're going to find the lowest common denominator, which is going to be 12. And so we're going to need to multiply that by four by three and by 12, okay? So what you're saying is I need to put a four there and then carry on going? Yes. And then I put a bracket there, I think. Good. X plus two. Good. Brackets. Minus three. Mm -hmm. Bracket. Two X minus four. Equ uh, brackets Good. again equals 36. Beautiful. Okay, then I'm going to write this we, 12 times three. Then we yeah, will collect gonna, the like terms. I'm just going to keep them over their denominators for the moment, just so everyone can see them. Okay, and then because we're in a fraction equation, we're allowed to ignore these denominators. So in this step, you don't have to show these denominators. I'm just showing them so that you know that they were there. Okay, cool. Yes. Next. Then we would collect the like terms. So first we would say 4x. Uh... 4x minus 6x. Okay, so before we start collecting our like terms, we need to distribute this 4. I think you did do that step because otherwise you wouldn't have had your 6x. Yes, ma'am. Do you, do you have that step there, or little, should I write I'm it a little, I'm a little bit lost. What you're saying is good because this negative 6x came in over there. I think you're just get, skipping a step. Uh oh okay uh you <laughs> you're going to take it from here you're doing good we, yeah you're doing good okay okay maybe before you collect like terms we can say plus eight yes well there we go there we go okay good uh then Then minus 6x. Yes, good. Plus 12. Good. Equals 36. Yes, there we go. Okay, Woo! we're on a good track. Excellent. Okay, now we want to keep our x's on one side and we want to move our numbers onto the other side. Okay, cool. This is where my work got a little bit messy, but I think we can say negative 2x plus 20. Okay, so I'm going to write 4x minus 6x is equal to 36 minus 12 minus 8. So then you have negative 2x is equal to 24 minus 8, so mm -hmm. 60. Yes, and then we divide both sides. By what? 
um by by two. Negative two. Negative two. Well negative done. Two. Good. And we get negative eight. There we go. Nice. Good. Nice well job. You made it. Not as stressful as it seems. Okay, guys. So, like, the key with this one was um, first step is getting that LCD. So, making sure that all of them had that lowest common denominator. And that's what we did over there. And remember, in fractions, if you're multiplying the denominator by something, you have to multiply the numerator by something. So, that's where those numbers came from. Then we just distributed. So, this was getting our distribution for each of those. And then we grouped our x's on one side and our numbers on the other side okay lucia how can i help oh ma'am i i was like asking like they were you were supposed to group the like terms mm -hmm. you said for x minus 6x is equal to like 36 minus 12 minus 8 ma'am mm -hmm. did you just like group the numbers yeah so i wanted my variables on one side and then the numbers I want on the, the other numbers side. On so, exactly. So I needed to move that 12 and that 8 to the other side. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Sure. Okay, now I'm seeing some correct answers in the chat, which means this was not as dramatic as people were making it seem. <laughs> so let's try and go over what our marks would be here. You definitely get one on, for getting guys. to that end point. Okay. Um, one for having negative 2x is equal to 16. You would get a mark there. You would get a mark for having 4x plus 8, a mark for having negative 6x plus 12, and a mark for having 36. And those are your Ooh. five marks. Mark it, guys. Let's collect those, those, those ticks. Collect them, guys. Collect them. It would be nice to actually have a red pen and legitly just marking yourself. Yeah. Go and invest in a red pen, guys. It'll make you feel very powerful. Yeah, to see those red ticks. <laughs> Lihle, I'm hoping that that yay means that we were doing nicely and that this question was not as scary as it seemed. Okay. Cool. So now we are at a total of 15 for those of you who are still Ooh. keeping score. We are going, guys. We are going. Okay, nice work. No, it's Yana. Yeah. Come out of that depression. You can't be depressed because look who's come to join us. It's Mr. Oh, Brain Break Man. Brain Break. <laughs> um, oh my yeah. gosh. So Marby's sitting there with 15 out of 15 and had the oh. nerve to send us all those crying faces in that last question. Can we just <laughs> take a moment? I'm now not going to believe your word anymore. <sighs> uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, wow. I'll quickly go back and you can take a screenshot. And then we will <laughs> don't trust the opposition. Don't trust the opposition. <laughs> I learned that the hard way, Moabi. <laughs> okay, brain break time. So today it's not a, it's. It, it, I'd say it's a medium difficulty. It's medium a medium difficulty. difficulty. We can do this, yep. guys. I okay. trust and believe in you. But I think you'll be okay. I'm looking for the answer to my Ooh. question mark. Nice. Look at this rainbows. And we're dealing with such a bad weather in, in Johannesburg. And in Cape Town. <sighs> it's rained all day today. Moabi, I will never, ever believe what you're feeling anymore. Yeah, it doesn't count. <laughs> I'll believe the opposite always. So Moabi, guys, is telling us that this is very easy. That's what he's saying. Oh, rainbows. Let's do this. You'll be fine. Look Don't at fall for the trap. so focused. She's so focused to the <laughs> to find out what's going on. Okay, so update. My tea is now a good temperature. 
Ooh, so okay. it's taken an hour. It has taken a whole hour. For, so now all I, I have to make my tea one hour before our lesson. That's the key. She has found a solution. <laughs> I have found the solution to my tea situation. Oh, yes. The second line is very spicy. That's why I said it's a medium. <laughs> Guys. Oh, this is fire. Try it. Come on. You need to, you need to break it down. You see, don't, don't focus on the answer yet. Break it down step by step. Then you'll find I'm the answer. I'm not going to give you the answer. So these numbers are not right. But just so like when you're thinking about it, like let's say that the cloud was four. Okay. So if that was four and that was four, and I'm sure, well, let's make it five because I'm sure you've all already figured out that those ones are all four. So if you substitute in a number there, then you have to do this multiplica multiplication first. So that five times four would be 50, uh, 20 and then 20 plus five would be 25. Okay, so think about it like that when you substitute numbers in for your clouds. But you don't panic. Remember, the lessons are all recorded, so you'll be able to watch in your own time. Let's go, guys. Let's go. We can do this. We can do this. I see uh, Bongumsa. You're busy preparing your, you know, your ear. <sighs> You're just ready. You're ready. Good one. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Nice job. Oh, that was solid. Do you feel do you feel confident to explain? All right, just, just put your hand up for me so that I can unmute you. Okay. There you go. All right. Talk us through right. how you did this. Hi, ma'am. Hi. So, ma'am, I first got what was the 12, what was each of the thoughts. So, I saw it as 4. Yeah. I multiplied the 4 by a 10. Good. Uh, okay, so you're able to see that so that's 10. The other are 10. Then, one of the different that rainbow, the cloud is a 10. The other, the two rainbows have to be a 5. Good, good, because 5 times 5 is 25, and 25 plus 10 is 35. Good. And then the other two rainbows at the bottom, there's two rainbows at the bottom, so that's 10. Good. There are two rainbows at the bottom, so 5 times 2, which is 10. And then there are two sides at the bottom also, so 4 plus 4, which is 8. Yes, nice. That's 90. Well done. Super, well super done. Work. Well done, Kutano. Excellent. It's it, oh, work. Oh, I love you guys. That was great. It's nice though, hey? This one was a goodie. It I was found a whole website like this. Um, okay. Let's move on. You need a riddle. Okay, I'll bring a riddle in for our um, consolidation weeks. Okay. Okay. Let's get back into our questions. It was kind of medium. Okay. So for those who are keeping track, what are we on? 17? No, 15. Okay. We were on 15. This question is out of five marks. So this question will take us out of 20. That's so we will guys. be out of 20 no. marks at the end of this one. Five mics in the bag, everybody. <laughs> no, you can, you can find the mythical website. You can find it. When I found it, I got so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, it's like a treasure trove of questions. <laughs> Some of them were really hard, though. Okay, now I endorse the cotton on, well, the, the typo mug flask. I endorse it now. Now, now you're enjoying it. For you anyone see. who would like a product endorsement situation, <laughs> I now appreciate, like, this mug, I now appreciate it. 
Wow, look at Yusuf, guys. He's ready. Hey, Yusuf, you can definitely get an answer that's a fraction. Remember, when you get an answer that it's a fraction, don't think that you're wrong. I'm going to give this question to Unati, though, because I haven't, I've been trying to share the love around today and I haven't heard from her in a while. So, Unati, this one will be yours. I'm just going to give everyone a chance to catch up. Don't panic. Find your lowest common denominator. Oh, Dayan, it's okay. I understand. It's end of term. You're almost on holiday. I get it. Just try to keep your brain on for the next 20 minutes, and then you can turn it off. The switch on and switch off button. <laughs> Lucia, the LCD is definitely 20. That's a good start. I understand. If you're on holiday already, I, I get it. <laughs> okay, Unati, we are all yours. <clears throat> okay, ma'am. So you have to find the LCD. Yes. Which is 20. Good. So you're going to times 2 by 10, Good. 5 times 4, mm -hmm. 4 times 5. And I didn't see the point of dividing, no. put it in a zero. Zero is just zero, so, but yeah, so because it'll just be zero. Good, yeah. So the next step is it's going to be 10 bracket x minus 2 minus mm -hmm. 4. Open bracket for x plus 7. Good. And then it's going to be minus 5 equals to 0. Sorry, equals to 0. Good. Okay, guys, so at this point here, if you want to write all of these over 20, you're welcome to, but you also don't have to because the denominator is going to fall away. Okay. But if you want to write it over 20, you can. Okay, <laughs> cool. Next. And the next step is that you're going to distribute the 10 inside the bracket. So it's going to be 10x minus 20. Good. Minus 16x minus 28. Beautiful. Minus 5. Good. Okay, next step. Now you're going to put the, the like terms together. So it's going to be 10x minus 16 equals to 0 plus 20 plus 28 plus 5. Excellent. So it's going to be negative 6x equals to 53. Perfect. Now you're going to divide by negative 6 on both sides. So x equals to negative 53 over 6. 100 well percent nice done. job and yes. you didn't panic you got a yucky answer as a answer you got a fraction and you kept calm oh. good well done nice five job guys marks. okay so this was out of five marks let's try and figure out where those marks would be coming from definitely you would get a mark for having 10x minus 20 you would get a mark for having negative 16 minus 28 you would get a mark for having the negative five, okay? Then you would get a mark for getting to this point over here. So negative six X equals 53. You'd get one mark there and then one mark for your answer. So just try and break it up step by step and see where your marks would come from. And at the moment, your total will be out of 20. You guys did really, really well. To share all that 
perfect. That's more than well done. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> oh, Tiana, it's okay. Give yourself a break this weekend. Don't think about any work. Like, don't think about anything. And then when I see you on Tuesday, your brain will have had a nice little rest and it'll be ready to listen and focus and like reprocess things. So just be kind to your brain this weekend. Nice job, Amber. Okay, if you want to screenshot, this is your time. We will probably only have time for one more question. Maybe two if they're short. Shine, 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 everybody. Okay. Ooh, look at the spicy question. Mm, this one is spicy. It's like eating ribs at spit. <laughs> Just rubbing it in our faces that you were at spit on Tuesday. Thanks. <laughs> no, I'm hungry. That's why. <laughs> oh, Kira, so dramatic. Let's try it, guys. Don't panic step by step. Just do what you know. Take the question and just put everything that you know about it. Think about what that That's means. All. Yeah. Key things that you need to think here, our bases need to be the same. Okay. Give it a try. I feel like all the students that are busy like saying it's difficult, they haven't written anything. Yeah, they're down. just like no, no, <laughs> like, no, no. I can't. <laughs> no. Everything brainy is not braining. <laughs> we love you guys. Okay. Marvi, are you going to answer this one for us? Um, um, I don't have the answer. I was asking a question. Mom, oh, sure. You, Ask away. Ma'am, can you flip this a 1 over 64? You can, but then your exponent needs to become negative. Oh, okay, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Uh, Tiana, do you want to give this one a try? Ish. Yes, but I feel very not confident. <laughs> that is one of the wrong okay. That's okay. <laughs> with you, Diana, you can do I'm this. gonna be scared. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna keep my left hand side the same. What am I gonna do on my right hand side? We're gonna say two to the power of negative thirty six the thirty two. Yeah, I think. Mm. Okay. Um no. But I will bring, I'm going to keep you online and we're going to talk about the step by step. Okay. 64, if I had to write that as a, an exponent with two, it would be two to the power of six. Okay. Um, so I'm going to write that as two to the power of six down there. But now, knowing that, what is my next step going to look like? So, what is it going to look like when I move this up? Uh, it's going to be six alone, isn't it? So if now I think, the, what does the what if to do with this? Like it's it's just making it a fraction. So if I have one over x and I'm wanting to move that x up to the top, it would be x, let's say it was x squared, it would be x to the power of negative two. Oh, then it's gonna be two to the power of negative six. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Now I want you at I want you to put this into your calculator. So put two to the power of negative six into your calculator. Man, my calculator is not a case of calculator. It doesn't do the things. Okay. Okay. For those of you who do have a calculator that does what you're needing it to do, if you put the 2 to the negative 6 into your calculator, you will get 1 over 64. So then it's like a nice way to just check that you're on the right track. Okay. Okay. Talk me through where I'm going to go to from here, though. And then we're going to put 3x minus 4 equals to negative 6. Good. Okay. And then we're going to say 
3x equals negative 6 plus 4. Good. And then we're going to say 3x divided by 3. And then we're going to say, oh, wait, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. Maybe 3x equals negative 2. Over? And divide by the, over 3. There we go. Ooh. Nice job. Nice. Well done, Yana. Okay, so x is going to be that. equal to negative 2 That's over good. 3. The key with this one, guys, is when we have a fraction like this, make sure you get the denominators to have the correct base that we're wanting. And then when you move it to the top, so you're getting rid of that 1, you're going to change that exponent to being a negative. Okay. That's what we're going to be doing. And I think the next one, oh, we, we can probably sneak it in. We've got a couple of minutes. Okay, if you want to take a screenshot, this is your time. Fine, guys, I'm gonna, shine. I'm going to sneak in one, one more picture. <laughs> picture. One more question. This will be a quick, 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 quick six one. And then I'm going to leave you with you, Linda, to do your quiz. This one should be quick six. We have an x squared, and that x squared means we are going to be factorizing because it is a quadratic. Factorization. I'm going to quickly talk through this one and then I'm going to show you where the marks were and then I just realized I didn't show you where the marks would be for the last one. So I'll also do those marks and then we'll finish this off tonight. Okay, so we're doing factorization here. We've got a trinomial, which means we need to work with our factor pairs of three, which is just one and three. How am I going to get to negative two with one and three? Negative three plus one is going to give me negative two. So in my brackets, I'm going to have x plus one x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now I've got that situation where I can say, therefore, x plus 1 is 0, which means x would be negative 1, or x minus 3 is 0, which means x would be 3. And this question is out of three marks. So one for one answer, one for the other answer, and one for factorizing. So that one is out of three. I'm going to quickly zoom up to our last one to show you where the marks would be. So for this one, you would get, this one was out of two marks. So you would get one mark for getting to this point here. And then one mark for your answer. And the reason they've made this one like not a huge number of marks is just because um, they didn't want to penalize people for like not being able to get it because it was quite a tough question. Okay, so our total, that was 20. This takes us to 22. And our last one was out of three, which means we're out of a total of 25. See how you did out of 25. And I'm leaving you in the good hands of Yolanda. I will see you guys all on Tuesday. Remember to come in your pajamas, bring something nice and warm to drink, and we will see you for consolidation. Okay, love you guys. Bye. Bye.